project monitoring. In project monitoring, we look at two areas. The first area is going to be looking at institutional monitoring. We also look at context monitoring, process monitoring, and results monitoring. Those are key elements that help us look at the project and monitoring that will give us a good idea about the health of the project. Let's look at institutional monitoring. We're looking at the capacity of the partner organizations supporting the project, which include local institutions that the project depends. Institutional monitoring is looking at whether or not that partner or that institution has the ability and, and has the required skills to help the project. Context monitoring it's the environment of the project and includes the monitoring of project assumptions and risks. Everything wherever the project is working, it is a context that has a, a change and will influence the project. One tool to help us in the context monitoring is called the PESTEL analysis, which helps us look at the context in three areas. The political environment, and that has an influence in terms of the people or the parties or the groups or the local governments that are supporting the project. Uh, economical elements about currency fluctuations, elements that will drive certain uh, or will challenge some of the results of the project. Uh, social is also part of the dynamics between the, the groups and the beneficiaries and that's an important element to monitor. Technical, if the project relies on technology or some technical elements, it's another element that you can need to monitor. Environmental, in terms of the project, it has an impact or the environment may have an impact on the project. And even legal, if, if the project is doing something that will have an impact with local laws, it's also an element that is required. Uh, there are some projects that also require or they need that certain laws are passed in the, in the country before they can make some of the, their actions or their interventions happen. Process monitoring, we're looking more at the, the delivery of the project goods and services and the use of the project inputs, it's the use of all of our resources. The focus on process monitoring is on efficiency, doing the right things so we're not using more than we plan for. Results monitoring, we're looking at how we're going to measure the project effect and the contribution of the interventions for sustainable change. The focus on, is again on effectiveness, doing the right things. And in this case, what we want to make sure is that the project is achieving the, the results that needs to do during the time and the budget that it has available. The other area of monitoring areas, uh, number two, looks more internally at how we're managing the project. We're looking at quality control, uh, the schedule, we're looking at the budget, and we're looking at the risk, we're monitoring stakeholder relationships and the performance of the team. Uh, the sources of information that we use for that, and we include the project progress reports that give us key information about numbers in terms of where we are, how much we spend, the variation reports that look at the differences between what we planned and what we're actually doing, uh, performance reports, uh, or quality reports, uh, risk assessments if we find any new risk, and stakeholders if there are changes in the levels of uh, interest and the levels of support stakeholders to the project. Uh, variance analysis is the idea that we need to look at changes both in the schedule, if there are any delays, uh, variations in the cost that could be caused by uh, changes in the way the prices or the cost of goods have changed over time. We also look at key project indicators to see their variances and that's where we look at our process, outputs and outcomes. Variances always is about seeing what we plan and what is actually happening. One tool that can help us in monitoring is when we start looking at the timelines and we're looking at how the project is actually behaving on the different levels and seeing whether or not what we plan to do in the time and the budget that we have is actually happening and how those progress and how those baseline indicators are telling me that we have the information and we're making progress according to the plan. One of the uh, 
concepts that we also need to look at is making changes of the project because we see variations but we see opportunities to improve it is that there is a difference in the opportunities that we have to changes and the cost of the changes at the beginning of the project we may have high opportunities for changes because the cost is very little because the impact is not going to be done because we're making the changes on plans as we start making progress these curves reverse so at the end or when we're close to end the project any changes to the cost the cost of changes to the project will be higher and we'll have even less opportunities to make changes because there is not so much to do uh, when we're getting close to the project so understanding the dynamics in between these two it's also important when we're looking at the project and when we need to start making focus on opportunities and this is the area right after planning and on the first uh, stages of implementing the project that's when the project manager needs to start looking at what are the opportunities to make changes because the costs are not going to be that significant the later it is the more expensive and the less opportunities to make changes then again we look at the areas where the project can make those changes the areas that are within project control and mostly those are the activities and the, that area that the project has control it's also mostly on the areas of activities and certain outputs the areas where the project will not have and they are beyond project control are on the goals and the outcomes mostly because at this area the projects are already completed so there will be mostly uh, the areas where the evaluation of the project will give us the information and many times evaluations come after the project is completed and the evaluations will help uh, inform new projects or changes in future projects about what needs to be done but the idea is that at the beginning and the areas that are in control of the project will influence what is happening in terms of the outcomes and the goals of the project